to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a handful of my favorite whole food plant-based breakfast ideas. Um, I get asked frequently over on Instagram in my DMs, um, Tia, what, what do you eat for breakfast? Breakfast ideas, you know, it's just stumping me. I kinda, of, I'm prepared for dinner. And for lunch, I usually eat leftovers or something really simple, but it's breakfast that stumps me. And so I thought today it would be fun um, or a good idea to share with you, again, my favorite breakfast ideas. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of video. Um, that way I know to share more like specific breakfast ideas, or maybe you wanna you know, hear things just for dinner or just for lunch, comment below and let me know. Um, that would be helpful for me um, when I'm planning you know, what kind of videos to make. But I think you guys will enjoy this one just based off of the amount of questions I get about what I eat for breakfast. So this video is gonna be short and sweet. Uh, before we hop into these meals, I just wanna say hi to those of you who are new here. My name is Tia. Uh, welcome to this channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'd love to see you stick around. I release a video every week where I love to share with you just how you can live this lifestyle really easy. It doesn't have to be complicated. Um, I also love sharing with you specific ways that I was able to reverse some issues I had going on health-wise and how I was able to lose up to 50 pounds of body fat. So again, um, I'd love to see you stick around hit that subscribe button, please. All right, so let's get into it. All right, the first breakfast is pretty basic. I'm just taking some Ezekiel bread and toasting it. I'm then gonna be topping the cinnamon raisin bread with a peanut butter hack, which will be um, one teaspoon of peanut butter and one tablespoon of PB2 and a little water. And then I'm topping that with banana. And then for the avocado toast, I'm just doing half of an avocado, a little hemp seeds. You guys, this is such a basic breakfast, but it's delicious. Couple it with some fruit and you are good to go. I'm putting some ground flaxseed and cinnamon on the banana bread. For the next breakfast, we are making a smoothie bowl. Um, now this is a chocolate smoothie bowl, so I am using unsweet cacao powder. I'll also be adding in there um, two frozen bananas. Right here you see one, but I actually add one after the fact. Um, and then a date. I'm making sure this is a pitted date. You can buy them pitted already, or you can just actually take the pit out. And then we're just throwing some spinach in there. I'm also using, I use about a cup, maybe, actually not a cup, um, I'm, that's for a smoothie, but when you're making a smoothie bowl, you want it to be thick like this. So I'm using just a little splash of unsweet almond milk. You can use any type of plant milk you want. Now to top this, instead of doing the typical granola, I'm doing bran flakes. Why? Because bran flakes are way less in calories than granola. Um, so, but you still get that same satisfying crunch you get and a ton of nutrients with it. So we're putting bran flakes on top of this smoothie bowl. I'm gonna put on some strawberries. Now typically I do fresh strawberries, but I was out, so I just defrosted some frozen ones. And then I'm putting a tablespoon of flaxseed on there. And then we have ourselves a delicious filling smoothie bowl. Now this one you've got to try if you haven't. This dish is savory oatmeal, okay? So I'm taking anywhere, usually I'll do anywhere from half of a cup of oats to one cup of rolled oats. Um, here I believe I'm doing about three fourths of a cup of rolled oats and then I'm putting in just one cup of water and one cup of veggie broth. I'm then throwing in tomatoes. You can do mushrooms. You can really do any veggies you want. I just felt like tomatoes this day. I'm adding in one fourth of a cup of nutritional yeast and a little bit of garlic granules. And a little bit of salt. Usually I put salt um, after I serve my meal, but I just kind of threw it in there. You know, you, you, you can put salt, you don't have to put salt, whatever you want and you can put it whenever you want, but um, that's it, you guys. This dish is so freaking good. I usually will top it with about a tablespoon of ground flaxseed, um, or I'll do one-fourth 
um, of an avocado. Sometimes I'll do both, but you know, for weight loss, I'd probably do um, just the avocado. So for breakfast, I'm eating one of my favorites, Rip's Big Bowl, although I label it Tia's Big Bowl <laughs> for the pantry. But y'all, this cereal, I know if you've been um, here on this channel for a while, you know I love it. It gives me so much energy that lasts like throughout the whole day. And this is one of the only cereals that keeps me full for hours. And the great thing about it, it is, like for a cereal, this is as whole as you can get with, um, you know, grains. It is really amazing for you. And like I said, it will give you such great energy and keep you full for hours. Um, for these first oats we're making, I like to call these chocolate covered strawberry oats because I think it tastes like it. I'm putting my oats in there. I like to use about three fourths of a cup. Sometimes I do a cup and I like to do equal parts liquid, maybe a little more. I'm going to show you how to flavor these with both a banana and maple syrup. I know some of you guys don't like flavoring your oats with bananas. So for this one, I'm using two teaspoons of maple syrup. Then I'm adding in one tablespoon of unsweet cocoa powder and then putting in a bunch of chopped up strawberries, shaking this around and it is absolutely delicious. Now, if you wanna add some um, extra healthy fats to this, cause there is a little bit of fat in the cocoa powder, um, you can add ground flaxseed. I love to add chia seeds to this and then again, I shake that up and it is absolutely delicious. Next, we have my chocolate chip peanut butter oats. Now, I know some of y'all see peanut butter and you're like, oh my gosh, there's a lot of fat in peanut butter. Don't worry, these are lower in fat and I'll show you how I do that. I'm just putting in oats and my liquid in there. Now for this one, I'm doing half of a smushed up banana and I mix that around really well. Then I'm adding one tablespoon of vegan chocolate chips. And now here is my peanut butter hack. I do PB2, a lot of PB2 and a little bit of peanut butter and some water, and that really makes it um, feel and taste like real kind of melted peanut butter without all the extra fat and calories. I like to really use all of this, um, and you know, once I put it in there, I stir it up, although I actually, I think shaking things are best. I don't know, I think it just mixes it up well. So um, go ahead, mix that up, and then there you go. And last but not least, my apple pie oats. These I ate so much um, on vacation because I had so many apples. But um, after I put in the oats in the liquid, I'm adding apple butter. I will link this company in the description box because they make an awesome apple pie apple butter. Uh, but for this one, I'm just doing just like a regular apple butter, two tablespoons. And then I am cutting up an entire apple, putting that in there. Now you can saute that to make it soft if you want. I like crunchy apples. And then don't forget, like I did, to do um, a teaspoon of cinnamon in there. Put the lid on, mix it up, and oh, you guys, these are so good. So when you're done making them, go ahead and just stick these in the refrigerator overnight. The next morning, they'll be um, thick and creamy. You can add additional fruit on top if you want. Stick a spoon in it, done. Yum. That is it for me today. Um, again, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked hearing about or seeing specific breakfast ideas and comment below if you have any other ideas on videos or if you wanna specifically see um, just lunch ideas, just dinner ideas, you know, just let me know. <laughs> so that is it for me today. I hope y'all have a great day, a great rest of the week. And like always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Okay, talk to y'all later, bye. <laughs>